mwisea isi ya wangu mbao TV ni wekwa tiwa kwa kana mudhenya wa kuwende kuithi wa wii wa kwa ila ni na ukedhia na udho chandi ni wandanga siya mawo mwendo ni wa saa mwanza masi ito makwa ni meri wa mnyoki tutamba nyinginya mudhia wa mawo na tuya mbililia mawo maitu ni kanando ngu ikivadhu kwa anganyo hivu ndo ngu ya cha macha waipa democratic movement ulani kalonzo wa musiokani vikite cha dhini cha madhiko mamwetu wa president wa keli wa ndhi ya kenya ulani mututia daniel arap moi ulani june moi ulona vikina kutiwa ni dhayu matuku ekumi na emwe mwine uwa kana madhiko ala matuaiwe baati kaunti ni ya nakuru gains this will be a better place so our sister june has left us when we are on the cliff difficult economic situation and we are happy that she could still educate our little daughter little paula but what the rest of us are attempting to do is to make this country go to the next level we cannot, on an occasion like this, in my view, talk of uh, our sister June without referring to Mze Moi and the legacy that he has left behind of a country united. Even when, at the time, he was handing over the reins of power, it was difficult for him. But he humbled himself and gave up power. So what do we say these days, Eugene, my brother, when we hear a cause of extension of presidential term limits as we bid farewell to our sister? Mze Moy did not want to do it. A lot of African leaders did it and brought a lot of grief to their country. So we celebrate dedication and statesmanship of Mze Moy. When I saw my sister Sally was gay, I felt, yes, we have come to bury, to bury June. I don't know, my sister, wherever you are, I'm not embarrassing you. Thank you. When Zemwe was giving up, the person who stood uh, handing over the reins of power, it was Sally there doing an incredible job. Or well, she stayed on for a while. But this is the legacy we are celebrating today of men and women mentored by Mze Moi who are able to do a lot more for our country. Therefore, we shall not be called, we shall not be intimidated. Governor Iria was supposed to be in jail. We thank God that you are here today. <laughs> they caught up with his wife. <laughs> hey, man, you are strong. Governor Simbarati, I spoke to him on my way here. This year, a man entering his compound, a governor, because an attack at that level means you even attacking the very constitution which has given us devolution. If you harass governors, you're harassing devolution. So we have to stand up and say, never be called. My brother, Chief Justice Maraga, uh, I've never let out this secret. But we were classmates in the law school. When I saw a man who stands for what is lawful, fearlessly, administering justice to his country, I feel the whole country is here. Chief Justice Maraga, we thank you. I know my brother, my brother, Senior Counsel Philip Murgo, and your dear wife. Uh, people may want to think of maybe the remnants of Zemoy. No, the whole country. It's Mze Moy's legacy. And therefore, we shall stand with you, Gideon. First of all, we thank you, Raymond, because you pronounce yourself, and I was here when you were given Ilim Bakora, I mean the Kijikiti, the baton, to lead the Moy family. You have done so well. I think we need to clap for...